Welcome back for another episode of OCD. If you've been following this project, you know I've done a lot of work to my 06 KLR650, and now it's time to test out all of my upgrades and my new helmet camera. This is a motorcycle park about 20 miles from where I live. On the way to the park, I noticed the front end seemed a little unplanted. I dismissed it due to the new tires, but when I got on the dirt, it was even worse. So, I decided to keep to the pavement for now and ride a short loop through the foothills. I would later find out that my ride's fork seal was completely blown and the oil and dirt covered the fork slider. I also think I set the fork tubes too low in the clamps which affects the trail and handling of the bike. The front end was so unresponsive it almost felt like riding a cruiser. There are also other variables that could account for the change in handling. The spring upgrade on the rear shock, the different suspension links, and the added weight of the luggage could be contributing to it. So I have some tinkering to do to chase down all the handling problems. I've never been the fastest rider on or off road. I typically keep it to about 5 miles an hour over the posted speed limit, but as badly as the bike was handling I had trouble even keeping up with traffic. The handling was so bad that it actually made me question my abilities and whether or not I should still be riding. I would imagine that it is similar to how someone feels after a crash, but after a little thought, I figured it was more likely one or more of the changes I made to the suspension. In hindsight, I probably should have tested each of the upgrades as I made them, and maybe I would have discovered the problem immediately instead of having to test everything now. But it is what it is. I'll figure it out and I'll let you know what the problem is. Hopefully it's not to loosen up between the handlebars and the seats. Handling problems aside, I'm very happy with the rest of the changes I made. The taller windshield provides excellent wind protection and minimal helmet buffeting. The cell phone holder and charger worked well. The lowered Corbin seat is perfect. I think a Corbin seat will be the first upgrade I make from now on. They are a bit expensive, but I think they're worth it considering how comfortable they can make the ride. Just as a heads up, I will be taking a couple of weeks off again between projects. It gives me a chance to get my shop back in order and ready for the next project. When I get back to it, I am going to start the Suzuki S40 bobber project using the RR1 hardtail bobber kit from Ryka Motors. And I still have a lot of other exciting projects on the schedule. And I think I will start making more ride videos. And remember, this is just phase one of the KLR build. In phase two, I will be polishing up the bike and making it look a little nicer. It will come apart for paints, powder coat, and hydro dip. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, and if I use them, I'll give you a shout out on an upcoming video. If you like my KLR project, subscribe so you don't miss phase two. Let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.